everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, it has been a minute since I've done a video. Today I have a highly requested video to do, and that is on the new Vera Bradley Featherweight Collection that Vera officially just released oh. Thursday, January 12th, I think. And it actually came out low-key on the website way earlier than that. It came out the day after the Christmas holiday, so it came out December 26th, and that is when I bought the two items from the Featherweight Collection that I wanted the most. And it came in really quickly. It came in that following week. And I knew instantly when I opened the package and took the items out that I was going to send them back. I just want to put a quick disclaimer at the top of this video that the two new featherweight items from Vera Bradley that I'm about to show you on camera, I have not used. I have just looked over and I did pack them, but I have not like taken them out into the world and used them. Um, I just quickly realized that both items are not for me. However, after you watch this video, you might see these items and decide that they work for you, which is why I'm doing this. I'm going to do an overall review of the featherweight backpack and the featherweight crossbody from the new line, and then also compare the new featherweight backpack to the old one because Vera had a featherweight collection a few years ago. So hopefully, I, I know there's a lot of people who reached out to me on Instagram and asked for this video and also really wanted the featherweight backpack from the previous featherweight collection. And I'm just gonna say, uh, foreshadowing, I do think if you really wanted that backpack from the original, this newer one, I think you would be happy with but I'll let you decide and get started with the review. First, I thought it would be good to start with a basis here. This is the Vera Bradley Featherweight Backpack from the very first Featherweight collection um, from a couple, maybe even a few years ago now. This was a little bit of a questionable collection mainly because Vera released it on the website, released it in a few stores, and then just as quickly pulled it off the site and off the shelves, and nobody knew why for the longest time. It did come out that these were just tester items. Vera Bradley put them out there, sold out of them, or let some people buy what they had, and then they pulled it back. And the only time we saw this iteration of the Featherweight Collection again is through the online outlet sale. They threw whatever stock they had left into lots of the online outlet sales until they sold out. And they sold out quickly because everybody wanted the featherweight items from this collection. This is arguably the most popular item from that collection and this is the featherweight backpack. It is a small to medium sized backpack that has all kinds of features. And one of the reigning features about this is that it's made of this, closely relate this fabric to like winter puffer coat material. That's exactly what it feels like to me. That's what it sounds like. And it is water resistant, so water just beads right off of it. I actually have my puffer coat over here. I wanna show you, I mean, this obviously, this has like really thick padding in it, so the sound and look is gonna be a little different, but it's basically the same. I mean, it's very similar. This was, this was really neat for Vera Bradley to do. Once they pulled this off the shelves, about a year or so later, they released the uh, factory style ultralight collection. They have a lot of different items in the factory outlet ultralight collection, but I'll stick a general picture up here of like one item from the collection so you can get an idea of what that fabric looks like, what the quilting style looks like, etc. So I don't personally have any factory outlet style ultralight items in my collection. However, I have been to my nearest factory outlet store several times and I have been able to see and feel the collection and determine that it also, it, it just wasn't for me. This, I should also note, while I have other featherweight videos on my channel, I will link them all down below. 
this is the only item I have left from the original Featherweight collection, um, is, is this particular backpack in the color Rose Mauve. This is very hard to find from this original iteration, but it is amazing. So after all of that talking, let me go ahead and go through the features here so we can get into the new collection and you can see what that's all about because this new stuff is available to buy today. So on the front, you have this toothy zipper front pocket and that zipper you do get with the main interior as well. And you get a look at the nice, pretty interior pattern, which does have a name. I think it's Textured Garden. And you can get, I mean, it, again, it, they're hard to find, but if you're looking on third-party sites, the, the backpack, the crossbody, the travel bag, the tote bag, all come in this pattern as well. I actually had this backpack in this pattern, but I since traded it in, essentially, for this one. I, I purchased this off of somebody in Vera Bradley Buzz a long time ago when I was in the group, and um, I, I then gave my textured garden away to a friend that um, really liked this style, so this is the only one I have. But you do have this nice interior pocket. It's very roomy. It goes from corner, corner, seam to seam. So it's a very big pocket. There's no additional organization inside of here. This is the branding tag that you get with the older Featherweight collection. And it is just this uh, rubber slash pleather piece. And it's got the VB Diamond logo stamped into it. You also have two nice side pockets. Later on in the video, I will pack this up and like do a comparison um, on what each of the featherweight backpacks fit but I just wanted to show you real quick that it does fit quite easily a standard size water bottle and it does fit my larger water bottles that I have I just don't have any on hand you have the same pocket on this side here this is my favorite feature about this bag well, at least one of my top favorite features you get these amazing long padded reinforced down the middle backpack straps that are so comfortable i have used this actually i just came out of this as my secondary bag because i usually carry like a really small purse and then if i'm traveling for the day or just going out of town and i want those extras i'll take a secondary purse this was my secondary purse for like three weeks and i, I did uh recently change out of it but these were so amazing carrying around. So I had like my little crossbody and then I had this and it was great. You also get this hidden back slip pocket. There's no type of closure. It's just an open pocket, but when it's on your back, it stays slim and closed. And it goes from here to here. And then it goes to my finger is right here. So about two inches from the bottom, it stops. And it's a great phone pocket. iPhone 13 or 12 mini. I can't even remember what this is called, but it goes in like that. And I, it is a mini phone, so it does go down a little bit further, but even your larger phones would fit. Mine is a mini and it doesn't go this way, but it does go long ways. You also have a top grab handle. And I know this looks like seatbelt material, but these little like grow grain slash ribbed design here makes it a lot more comfortable to the touch. The edges are not rough like you might imagine they would be. It's actually very pliable and soft. Here is the base of the bag. So you can see how much it would fit. One of the reigning features of this bag is that it's got this unique double zip round or kind of square-ish, rectangular-ish opening. But before we do that, let's look at the zipper pulls real quick. You will see that they are rubber and they look like a traditional zipper pull, but they are rubber and they have the VB stamped logo on both sides. I love these zipper pulls. So keep these in mind when we move on to the new Featherweight collection because they do this a little bit differently, which is fine, but I do, I do prefer this backpack and the features on this backpack and also the layout of this backpack. You will see some slight differences. They're not like night and day different, but there are some slight differences, the zipper pulls being one of them. So that nice, smooth, chunky zipper opens like this. So you get a nice flap opening with this burst of textured garden on the inside. Absolutely gorgeous. You have the Vera Bradley, it's like a nylon piece of fabric uh, branding there. 
And I love this because when I'll, well, I'll show you this later, but when this is full, it just sits so well and I have it open and it's easy just to grab things in and out. And it's just a wonderful silhouette. So look at that big opening there. You get a zipper pocket. And what I love about the zipper pocket is that it's shallow, which I know it seems weird. Like, why would you want a shallow zipper pocket? But I feel like they really thought of space here. I think if they went all the way down to the bottom, it might compete with maybe the item in the back or items on the main interior. It but stops right here. So this zipper pocket does not go all the way down to the bottom. And here is the tag so you can see the original retail for this piece. It was $90. I did buy it off of somebody in Buzz. I did not pay that. And then on this front wall, you do get two nice sized slip pockets there. So that is the original featherweight backpack. Let's get to the new collection now. So this is the new featherweight backpack that you can currently buy on the Vera Bradley website and in some, I assume it's in all their retail stores, but also specialty retailers that sell Vera. At least at the time of this video. If you're watching this video five years into the future, I don't know the availability, but if you're watching it um, in January 2023 and maybe in the couple years that follow that, that this is the current status of this bag. The first thing that I want to po point out about this bag, I wasn't sure if this fabric felt the same as this fabric. Because they do feel similar, but they're not the same. And I finally, I finally think that this is the same. And if not exactly the same, it's close to the same as the, the factory outlet ultralight. This is not ultralight material. It doesn't have that same feel. It's it's totally different. And it just took me a little while to realize that. I think one of the things that threw me off is the quilting style. This is what Vera Bradley is calling OG quilting. And I actually have another item that features OG quilting from another brand called Cinda B. So this is a pretty small item, but if you look carefully and Follow that stitch pattern there. You will see that it also features OG quilting. And honestly, I love it on this item. It's not really a fair comparison because this is such, I mean, this is such a tiny piece. But the quilting is not at all wrinkled. However, if we get over to this featherweight backpack, again, I have not used this. I took it out of the package, I examined it, I dummy packed it, and then I put it right back into the pink Vera Bradley packing bag that it came in, and it's been sitting in my closet protected ever since. This is how it came to me. It's very wrinkled. And for a bag that has like an athleisure type of look and feel to it, I think that's okay. If you're not picky about that sort of thing, this will fly. It'll be okay with you. It doesn't really bother me that much. I think what gets me more is that I, I just like this fabric better and I already have a backpack this size. So it doesn't make sense for me personally to keep both of these. And of course this one is, is gonna be the winner for me. I just, I like this one better and we'll get to that later. I just wanted to point that out about the look of the fabric. Now I have seen pictures and video of the featherweight backpack in the artist garden pattern because like the original uh, collection, this comes in three different colorways. You can get the black and then in this newer collection, there's like a, I don't know what they're calling it. It's like some kind of light pink, like a baby pink. And then you can get the pattern, which is artist garden. In the artist garden pattern, at least from what I can see in pictures and videos, you cannot see the wrinkles. Like I think the pattern does a really great job with its, all of its detail, kind of covering up the wrinkles. But in, at least in the solid black, I mean, it really, really stands out. So not, not a, a big deal, might not be a big deal to some of you, it might be to some of you, I don't know. But something I just wanted to make transparent in this video. Let's jump into the features now. We have a front pocket and you'll see it's a little bit different than what we saw on the original, which goes straight across. And this one has more of a curved shape to it. And at least right now, it's empty, but I think when it's full, it won't come 
as close in contact with the top main compartment, but right now it does. And this was actually an issue that I had when I got this bag. It, they attached the tag right here and it was stuck in the zipper and I already knew I wanted to re return this. I had to cut the tag off. It was so stuck and I tried. I used to work at a specialty retailer that sold Vera so I dealt with this issue all the time. When people bought Vera they'd bring it to the counter and be like can you cut the tag out of the zip? Like, can you get the tag out of the zipper? I don't want to buy this if it's stuck. I would have to do this all the time. The e easiest way that I know, at least, to get that string out of there is to cut the edge because they they're they kind of snap together the um, string, and I had to just cut one edge and just pull the string out. And that's what I had to do with this. So. That's just something to be aware of if you buy this. These are so close together in packing that it just all got stuck together. So. Anyway, that doesn't, I mean, that doesn't take away from the actual bag itself. So you do get the chunky zipper again with this style. As far as I can see, they are the same like chunky zipper style. With this, you get a pocket that flaps open, whereas the other one, again, straight across. And look at that beautiful pattern. I love this interior pattern, I will say. I think I like this interior pattern better than the one that you get with the older Featherweight collection. This is just gorgeous. And so with this, you have this big open space to put whatever you want inside, but then you have this large mesh pocket in the back. And then here is the tag that I unfortunately had to cut. And this will show you the retail price of this Featherweight backpack, which is $100. So it did go up by $10. And I, I should mention too, this material I believe is recycled, I think. I'll put something up on the screen here where it shows the official description on the website and what it says. So hopefully if I'm wrong, that'll correct me. Let's go to the side pockets. So you do have these nice spacious side pockets. And the neat thing about these is that you get this cinching mechanism here. If you want to, it doesn't really widen the pocket anymore. I mean, it doesn't fully like go down to the string. But I think it's more if you want to like secure what's ever in this pocket. So let's start with my phone first. So if I wanted to put my phone in this pocket, and because it's a smaller phone, it does go pretty far down. It's not sticking up. I can cinch this really tight, and it still reveals a gap here, but my phone is not coming out of there. Like it is tight in that space. If we try the same thing with a water bottle, so a standard size water bottle fits. I have not tried my bigger water bottles. Let's cinch this closed. And that's what that looks like. So it does fit a standard size water bottle. If I can remember during the, the portion of this video where these bags are full, I'll go grab my larger water bottle and test on both backpacks. And you get an identical pocket on the other side. Now if we go to the back, we still have these nice cushy straps here. They are, of course, a little bit wider and thicker than the ones that we get in the original. I still prefer these. I tend, on backpacks this size, I tend to prefer straps that are less wide. And I just like this reinforced ribbed nylon down the center. That's just a personal preference, but I just wanted to point that out. So you do get nice cushy straps. And the grab handle is equally as cushy as the straps. Now, here's a big difference between this, this backpack and the one below. We don't have a back pocket here. There's no slip pocket at the top. There's no hidden zipper pockets in the seams. It's just a plain backing um, that features that OG quilting there. Here is the base of the bag. Here is another big difference. This capacity is not nearly as substantial as the one that you get with the original backpack. However, I did see this in a video. This is actually taller than the original featherweight here. And again, we'll see it when I fill it up. And Vera markets that you can fit up to a 13 inch laptop they mark market that you can fit that in there because this is taller. Weight backpack has all the same functionality as the travel backpack, but in a more compact package. Heads up, this bag can even fit a 13-inch laptop. I'm trying to get the back bottom.
ones to line up. So I know the front of the pink one doesn't look like it's lined up, but yeah, this is taller. So you can fit, and that might be a draw for, for you right off the bat. If you're someone who wants to carry your larger tablet or 13 inch laptop in this bag, along with a few notebooks and things, this is already gonna be your bag. Um, don't even bother hunting for this one because I don't think I can get my 13 inch laptop in here, nor would I even carry my 13 inch laptop in here. That's not what this, this backpack would be for. I would fit my 12.9 inch tablet, which I'm currently filming on in this because I have tried that out and it does work, but I would not use this as my primary work bag where I have like my laptop and all that kind of stuff. If you are someone who wants a smaller silhouette for a work bag and you want to put your laptop in here, grab this one because it can, according to their marketing, it can accommodate that. On to the main compartment. You do get double zippers here and I just wanted to point out the zipper pulls and the way they look different. So here they're giving you a metal ring with this cord zipper pull and the bottom is rubber and it does have that stamped VB on both sides. I think these are okay. I don't like them as, as much as I like the other ones, but they still get the job done. And I assume that they are, they are equally as water resistant as the other ones. So here we've got that identical flap opening that we saw with the original. There's no Vera Bradley branding in the inside here that we saw with the older one, but we do still have a back zip pocket. And this one does go further down than the other one. So let me all the way down to here. So about two inches from the bottom. There's that beautiful interior. And then on the front wall, there are no pockets. So you don't get any pockets in the interior except for this big zipper. So that is the featherweight backpack. And I'm gonna put that aside for a brief moment and do sort of a sidebar before I get into the filling the backpacks comparison part of the video because I did pick up the featherweight crossbody from the new collection as well. And I wanted to do a quick just overall review of this one because this was not what I was expecting and it's fully my fault because I misread the measurements. I thought this was gonna be several inches smaller than it actually is. This bag is huge. I'm a small bag person. There's no way that I'm gonna be able to ever carry this as a daily carry because it is so large for me. If you are someone who likes to carry a lot of stuff, this would be a great style for you but it is a huge bag. It's empty, of course, but I'll go ahead and just try it on just so you can see what it looks like here. So I'm, I'm about 5'2", um, and I mean, this, this is just, it's just not for me in terms of a, a crossbody bag. It's, it's too big, but it is a substantial bag and will fit a lot. I'm not going to go too into depth with this besides an overall review because if you are familiar with the channel Amber That Girl, she makes amazing bag reviews over on her channel. Please go check her out. She just did a video on this bag where she packs it and does such a wonderful job showing like what fits in it and she measures it and compares it to another bag and I highly suggest you watch her video for a packing packing review. I will link her video down below. She, I think she has the same color as this as well. So go check that out and see what all can fit in this. But let's go ahead and review the bag. I'll also stick a quick screen grab here that shows the measurements that Vera has listed on the site. And I do, honestly, I do remember taking out my tape measure and just like, you know, measuring the air and kind of seeing how big this bag was. And it still blew me away um, when I opened it in person. I was like, that's still not what I was expecting, but that's neither here nor there. Let's get into the features. So on the, and I, you know, this could be the front, this could be the back. It also depends on if you're wearing a crossbody, if you want the buckle to be on your back or on your front. So for me, I always, or usually opt for the buckle to be on my back side so this would be my front if I'm wearing this crossbody and this zipper would be on my hip but 
let's just start with this side for now. So you have sort of a recessed zipper pocket. It is not a chunky zipper, but just like your standard size zipper. And you have a, a it's a pretty slim pocket. I mean, it doesn't even go clear to the bottom. It stops like right here. I think it would be a decent pocket for a cell phone. I mean, again, mine's smaller, but it still goes down and uh, zips up there. Or if you've got like little odds and ends, like this is just a little tech case that I carry in my secondary bag or I throw it in my main purse sometimes. And I mean, that fits in there. If you wanted to carry a water bottle on the outside of your bag, I mean, that would work. But it is a slim pocket. It goes from seam to seam and then almost to the bottom there. And that's what that looks like. Other than that, there are no other exterior pockets on this crossbody bag. Something unique about this crossbody bag is that it's got this cinching mechanism here. So you've got these cords again, these thicker cords that go through the bag here and it goes all the way around. And if you cinch the bag, it's going to create a different shape for you. That is the cinched look. Does that look familiar to you? What bag does this remind you of? To me, this reminds me of the Glenna satchel a little bit because the current Glenna satchels have a cinching mechanism built into them. And this, without the extra handles, gives me a, a, a Glenna look. This just reminds me of the Glenna. I don't know if they did that on purpose. I don't know how many people are gonna use this. I don't know if this is just for show or if it truly is a feature that Vera Bradley intends for people to use if they want a completely different look to their purse. Before we go on the inside, let's review the strap real quick. So this is a very thick, what I would call a, a true seat belt strap. Like, you can't get any more seat belt than this to me. It's very thick, like a seat belt. And I could tell that they tried to like give it a, a little bit more of a unique design rather than slapping like a full straight seat belt looking strap on here. But I mean, I call it as I see it, it, it feels like a seat belt strap to me. So I don't know, if, I mean, this is a big bag. If you fill it and you're, you know, you're going somewhere all day, you're going out shopping and this is on your neck, I don't know. It, it, it depends on the person. Some people are not bothered by straps like this but I feel like after a while if this bag is really full even though it is like effortlessly lightweight I would feel like that cut into the neck at some point this is the current bag I'm using I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this because we're talking about Vera here but Bagalini uses these nylon straps on their bags but this is similar to what did I compare earlier oh it was this it's basically the same as this, this grow grain strap. Like the edges are soft. And I, I've been, I mean, I wore this as a crossbody yesterday and it doesn't cut into my neck. And it's a very, I mean, this is a tiny bag. That would make sense. But this being so thick and wide with a lot of stuff, I don't know. The only thing I can say is try it. And if it does end up bothering you, I guess you can return it. But Otherwise, I mean, it looks like a great silhouette. Let's and get on the inside of it now. You get one zipper pull and we're back to the chunky plastic zipper here. And we've got that same zipper pull we saw in the Featherwick backpack. And we have a huge interior here. So there is nothing on this wall. There's no slip pockets. And this is the wall where there's nothing on this side. We go to the other wall. There is a zipper pocket. And it goes, oh gosh, that's really shallow. It goes to right about here. So that's a very shallow pocket. Cause look how, I mean, this goes, this bag goes all the way down to the bottom. So I guess it's good in a way. It'll keep your stuff close to the top so it doesn't sink to the bottom. But yeah, just keep that in mind. And then here's the base, which basically there is no base. So also keep that in mind. Like I'm sure it'll puff out once you fill it up, but that's just something to keep in mind. And I totally, so I, I watched Amber's video and I 110% agree with her. Why would they put this zipper pocket here on top of this pocket? Why wouldn't they alternate them? 
I, I don't know. I Girl, I to if you're watching, I totally agree with you on that. I'm not quite sure why they did that either. But Because whatever you have in this pocket, because there's no base, it's going to conflict with whatever you put in here. But again, it's a big bag if you're a pouch person and you love packing pouches to hold all of your little things, then it probably won't be a problem for you. That is the featherweight crossbody. Oh, let's see how much it retails for. So that's another thing. When I bought this bag, here's the, oh gosh, the, it's kind of getting blown out a little bit. Okay. That's another thing about this. When I purchased this, I was like, dang, $80 is expensive for a small bag. And then I got it in. I'm like, okay, this is, this is huge. So, uh, still a little bit expensive if, if I'm being honest with you, but anyway, yeah, this is the featherweight crossbody. I wish I had a more robust setup to show you both backpacks like side by side. I used to have a little white card table where I could like put them side by side, but I don't have that. I don't even know where that is, but so I'm going to have to bring them in and out, but I'll go ahead and show you the original all filled up and then we'll go to the current one. So this is the water bottle that I was referring to. It's a 24 ounce, 710 milliliter. A water bottle and it fits in this pocket with no problem. I think that's impressive because most purse size backpacks, I mean even some like work size backpacks don't have a water bottle sleeve this robust. So I really like that about this backpack. Yeah. That same pocket there and then in the front I just stuck that little tech case that we talked about earlier and then here is the main interior. And I just want you to kind of see everything that I have packed inside here. I've got my cutlery set, my pencil case. This just has like a bunch of toiletries for on the go. And then this is my uh, cord organizer. And I was pretty quick about packing this because again, this isn't a current style. So I wanna focus more on the one that you could buy today if, you, if you're interested in this style in general and you just want something that's like this one. Of course, this one down here is going to be the one to go with. And I didn't put anything into the two slip pockets, but you could definitely do that. Now onto the current version. I've got this all packed up, and I have to say, it looks really nice when it's packed up. It takes out some of those weird wrinkles. I mean, not all of them. We still have some there. And then, like I said earlier, these pockets, now that they're full, they're not, these zippers aren't touching. However, one thing that I did notice when this is packed up is that these zippers kind of get in the way at the top. I mean, sometimes they'll fall into the, of course, now that I'm demoing it, it's not doing it. But yeah, like right there, which makes it hard to zipper. So, I mean, the easiest solution is just to move those out of the way and it's not a problem. I just wanted to get you, let you see the silhouette of the bag, but this one is not quite as deep as the original one here. This one has a lot more depth to it. However, this one is taller. This black one is taller. Um, it's hard to see, but you're gonna see in a minute once we get inside. I do have the original water bottle, or the 16.9 fluid ounce water bottle in here. But to my surprise, even though this one isn't quite as deep as the older one, you can still get that bigger water bottle in here if you wanna use this as like a day pack or a work pack or a baby bag or whatever you wanna use this for you could still get your larger water bottles inside of this bag. Let's get into this front pocket. Um, so I, I put a little more effort into fake packing this because again, this is the current style and I, I want you to see, you can't, again, you can't find that other one. So I really want you to be able to see what you could get in here if you do buy this bag. So I have a Vera Bradley coin purse and this just has uh, wired headphones in it. And that's all I have in this main area, but you could certainly fit more. And then in the mesh area, I just put a pair of readers um, and Bloom Boom back there. So that's what that looks like. So you could see the kind of depth with that pocket. So now for the main interior. Sorry, I have this kind of leaning weird on me. But let's zip this up. Open the flap and you will see that I have my 13 inch MacBook Pro 
So this is the, the thick one. This is not the Air, but the Pro. So it is really thick and heavy. Um, so I will say that. I don't know, you know, how long these straps are going to hold up, but at least they're padded. I will do a try on two of both backpacks so you can see. But I just wanted you to see that you could fit the MacBook Pro in here. While we're on this topic, let me go ahead and take this out and see if you can fit it in the old one. Pretty sure you can't, but we're going to try it real quick here. Yeah, no, there's no way. So there, that's a good demo for you, that that is at least a couple inches taller than this original. Let's go ahead and put this back in here so you can see again what everything that I have looks like. And you can see by looking in the front here, there's a little more capacity. You could get a little more in there if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and remove the work laptop because it is heavy, which makes this backpack hard to continuously hold up. So I did put my current book in there. And I have a lug glasses case with sunglasses inside, a pill case, and then I have a medium cosmetic from Vera that's just full of different little things. Just so you can see the capacity there. So hopefully that helps you in terms of packing. Now let's get to the try on portion of the video. So here's the bag from a front view so you can see what the straps look like. This is the original featherweight backpack. Here is a side view. Here is the back of the bag. Here is the other side. And back to the front. Let's get to the newer version. So I have to say the straps are really comfortable. I have my 13 inch laptop in here and I mean, I've only been wearing this for uh, several seconds, so not a long period of time, but I don't, do not feel any significant pull or pain from having my heavy uh, MacBook Pro in there. So I just wanted to point that out. So here is a side view for you. Here is the back. Let me make sure I'm in the frame here. What the back looks like. Again, I'm 5'2". So I'm kind of short. So if you're a short person and you don't want a huge backpack, but you still want to carry your computer, maybe a notebook, a, something to drink, a few snacks, a cosmetic bag, this would be a really nice choice for you. You don't have to be short, of course. You could be any height. But I'm just saying, I, me being someone who is short and looking for that perfect work backpack that fits the length of my back and doesn't like sit on top of my bottom is a struggle because I don't have a long torso. Um, so this is a really good solution for that, even though I'm still gonna return it, just because I don't need two featherweight backpacks. I've kind of reached an era of my life where I, and I've talked about this on Instagram, so if you don't follow me on there, you might not know what's going on in my life, uh, but video is really long but I'll just make it quick I cut down all of my bags mostly Vera which I had the most of Vera but also my other brands I have one tote box one tote left of bags that's all I have left if you know like my videos where I, I showed my collection and I had like all those little like bins full of bags I don't have that anymore I have one box full of bags now and that's all I have. I just kind of went through a, um, I mean if you do watch me on YouTube you have heard me say this before, I go through these phases where I have all these bags and I get rid of them and then I end up collecting more and then I get rid of those and by when I say get rid of I mean sell, donate, and part with. I'm not like throwing them in the trash. I hope you know that. I would never do that. Um, Mo this time around I sold more than I have ever sold in my entire collecting journey. And so now I have one tote box full of bags left and that's how it's been for the past... When did I start doing that? Was it October? September? I don't know. Sometime like in the last quarter of 2022 is when I... Oh, it was kind of like end of summer I was like going through the process of parting with, selling things, and then by the time I hit fall, I had like one tote left of stuff. And so that's where I have been. Not that I don't like bags anymore, clearly I do. I mean, I'm trying out this featherweight collection, which again is going to go back mainly because I just don't need 
first of all, I don't need a crossbody bag this big for every day. It's just not for me. And I already love my featherweight backpack over here, and I don't need two. But anyway, that was off. We're getting off on a tangent. Let me wrap up the video and say a lot of people ask me if I like this, if I recommended it. At first, I was like, meh. But now that I've actually loaded it up with a laptop and other things that I would carry um, more seriously, because um, when I dummy packed it before, I, I didn't completely fill it. But now that I have done that, I honestly, I would recommend it. I'm not getting paid to say that. Um, I did pay for this stuff with my own money, as usual. Um, but if you are someone, which I know there are several of you who have been hunting for that original featherweight backpack, and you want one in your collection, I do think this is a good alternative. It's a nice backpack, and it's pretty comfortable, and basically does all the same things that the original does, plus a couple more things, like fit the laptop, which you'll see there is some extra room at the top. I'm trying to see if there's a false bottom. It doesn't feel like there is, but there, I think there's enough padding right here at this big seam that it would protect the laptop. So, I, I mean, I think it would be okay. I don't know if that's just like a defect of mine where it's got this big old rollover seam here, but I, it feels pretty padded to me. But again, that's the Featherweight Backpack from the new collection. Sorry, it has been so long since I've done a video. I do have a few other video requests on items that I do still have left in my collection. And hopefully I will get to them soon because I do miss doing this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are having a great start to your new year, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!